Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm sharing the first of all of the tutorials that I'll be sharing using my new moving scenes die set. So this is the five by seven. You can see I've created this gorgeous scene here. When you pull the tab, your scene comes to life and starts to move. You can have anything attached to these. You don't have to use the Christmas stamps that I'm using it with. You might have things already in your stash. I'll talk you through all the steps in this video. So hopefully it'll give you lots of inspiration. You'll be able to then put your own together. So let's get started. So this is the five by seven set. I've just got mine all laid out on my magnetic sheet there. So you've got your main plate, you've got your mat layer, you've got your strips for your pop-ups, your turning wheel, paper brad. This is just your connecting disc so you can stick it to the card, your little arrow there and your pull tab. So I'm going to be using it with the over the rooftop stamp and die set. So I've just got all of mine there. I did, well, I always do in pre preparation for a launch, I will sit and stamp, colour and cut tons of images. I've got all of these in this little one here. I've got all of the, all like the trims, the borders, all like the bunting from all the other sets and stuff. And, um, and you'll see all of that feature in all of the um, up and coming videos. And you'll see I've already stamped here, Believe in the Magic. And this is from my new Sentiments, Christmas Sentiments set. It's a really lovely set. You've got a mix of all kinds of different sentiments there for Christmas. And they're a nice size as well. So I've cut this using 300 GSM, so the smooth card stock using the main plate. Okay. And when it cuts it, it will give you these slots here. And that's where your, all of your moving parts will come out. This one here, you'll see I've already cut as well. I wanted these bigger holes. You can actually add some stitching through that. So if you've got some floss that you want to use, it can give it a nice little extra touch there. And then I've got a top folding five by seven card here that that's all going to attach to. And then I've just cut, this one is one die. So just pass that through once, you'll get your three tabs and then just run all of this through as well. For the pull tab, I've cut it twice, one in white and then one in green. And I've just used the construction glue to attach that just so it's nice and strong. And just so I don't lose the arrow, I'm just going to attach that now because I know I will end up probably catching it with my sleeve and then losing it. Just a dinky little arrow. You can also use my Actions stamp set. So you could have pull, you could stamp the arrow that comes in that set. This one here, it's so popular. It's got so many different movement sayings on there. And like I said, you've got the little arrows here as well. If you wanted to stamp, maybe emboss it, you can do that. Okay, so they're ready. And then you want to take this one here. This is the paper brad. So you're just going to open up and bring back the side pieces there and just give them a little fold. And then you're going to pop those pieces through the main circle there and just open it out. And then just a little glue just on the top there. And you're going to take the other circle and the dimension of this is the same width that these two pieces that are folded out are. So just line them up and then that will go in the middle. And then you want to make sure if you put your finger on the middle circles there, that the big circle will spin around on its own. Okay. Okay. Now the position for this, you want to have the two that are closest together. You want them at the bottom. Okay. And then these two will be towards the top, but keep them at the bottom like so. I've then got some brads here. You want the, the smaller, so the five mil brads. Doesn't matter the colour. So it's a good, this is a good one to use up all those kind of colours that you may not use. I've actually got a ton of blue, so I think I'm going to use them. So you're going to take your pull tab first and I'm going to pop the brad through there and then through this one at the bottom. Okay, open up the brad. So again, positioning. So now this is going to come off to the side and you can see now when this is all behind here, where this is going to sit. And then you want to attach these three here. So I'm just going to pop Brad through and then go through that one there. OK, so now that's the kind of positioning that it's going to be behind this. And all of these will come up through these three sections here and you'll see how it's all hidden. Don't worry that this one's poking out the top. They're all going to be trimmed down anyway. OK, but it just gives you a good visual there on how it's all going to look. OK, next I'm going to add a little bit of foam to the top of the circle there. OK, and then you'll probably find you'll want to double it up because you don't want the the lumpiness of the brads to kind of show through on the card. So I'm just going to pop another one on top. So that foam is higher than the brads there. So there will be dimension with these cards. 
there always are with my cards so <laughs> i've got box envelopes and i've got bouncy envelopes so you've got options when you go to um to post them so i've just taken the backing off there and now i'm just going to place this one what you might want to do actually is just I think it's going to be easier to explain it by sitting it on this piece here and you want to pull your tab right so it's flush with this piece okay and then this piece here will fit perfectly or it will frame perfectly with all the polka dots there so just kind of hover that over the top and you can see how far down you need to bring this so it sits in that little finger pull there we go that looks pretty good to me so i'm just gonna let that stick to the foam there so you can see how that's all going to now sit on there and now take that off so it's all attached don't again worry about the way it's moving for now then you want to feed through these three here into your three sections like i said you might not have three moving um sections so just kind of curve that under i'm going to pop that one through the bottom like so this one I'll go through the second one and then this one up in the top one there so now when i move it over when i do this can you see they all move now you can also then position these more so if you want that one to stay there this one here don't worry about the the angle because when you stick your for example this little boy he's going to just stick you'll trim this right down he will stick on there and then he will just move within that space and again with this one if you don't want it right on the edge just hold that there but you can just you can bring it across you know so you can move them and say you want something moving here then this one you'd have coming out under there so you do need to kind of plan ahead where you think you're going to want things to be moving so that's why at this point it's a good time to start playing around with the positioning of everything so i've got all these bits and bobs here now i do know that i want rooftop at the top here so i'm going to stick that up on a little bit of foam and then if I pop that one, I take that one out of that one, I'm going to have it through there. And then I think I'll have, actually, yeah, I think I will keep that one there because that can go in the middle, actually. Take this one out. So there is no right or wrong with this. You pop them wherever you want. That's why I made them longer. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that. So I'm going to have rooftops at the very top there. Once I trim that down, I'm going to have Santa and his sleigh. So that will be moving. So again, you could do these on, these could also be acetate. I might end up changing that one to acetate because it is going to be lifted. So we'll bring those down. So that's going to move just across the top like so then i want to have i think i'm going to do that and you've got the moon there as well that you can stamp you've got santa's footprints i might stamp some footprints then i might have a little i might have the snowman there yeah i think that's going to look quite cute and again just kind of sit it all on your backgrounds and everything just so you can get an idea on how it's all gonna to look together. Just bring that all up there. So yeah, so I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna pop all these bits to one side because they're what I wanna use. And I know I want these in this kind of position. So this one we can trim now down. Still gonna keep it above the slot, but I am just gonna trim it down. Okay. And then I'm just gonna hold that behind and flip it over. okay so now i just want to position my foam so i can attach this all to the card so i'm going to add a piece there there down here you just want to make sure that each one has got room to move and i always recommend when you get your new kind of dies just have a play around with some scrap card first so you can get an idea on how it all should be working and then you know use all your good stuff with the pull tab you want to kind of make a bit of a track for it so i'm just going to line it up between the, the finger pull there and i'm just going to oh, just add a little bit of foam either side like so 
foot and then I think we need some foam right at the top here we can go right along the top there because nothing's going to interfere with that and down in there as well okay I'm going to take all the backing off and then I'm going to double that up because it needs to match the height of what this already is Okay, so that's all stuck down. Make sure you hold this in this little track that you would have made with the foam. So I'm just going to pinch it like that and flip it over. And now you just want to focus on lining it all up. So just look at the little polka dot border. So now when I pull my tab, you can see they all move in the position that I want. So I'm going to pop the roof tops on first. Just going to cut some thin foam. So you can, you know, disguise all of these slots now. As long as this has got the space to move, then everything else, if you want to, you can, um, you know, hide. So I'm just going to take the backing off there and have that one just like so. And I'll trim off the sides in a moment. And then I'm going to stick down a couple of the trees. So I'm just going to add a little glue. So I've just built up the Christmas trees around there and then I'm just going to add a little glue. What I want is it to just kind of look like it's poking out of the trees. Like, help! <laughs> I love that. And then um, the little girl may be kind of moving. I could have, we've got the carol singer there as well. Where's the lady? There she is. Maybe we could have, maybe we could have the snowman actually moving, but then I do like him kind of just in front of all the trees. So we could have mum and dad kind of singing and the kids just being silly in the background. I could have it that they're just flying away and Santa's still stuck in the chimney. <laughs> and then we've got Santa's sack. Yeah, maybe. I quite like that, that they've just kind of gone without him. Also, I don't know if I did say, but you can connect more of the strips to one of the holes. So although there's three holes for these three strips, you could have two coming off of each one. So you could have six, you know, kind of things moving if you wanted to. Actually, I think I'm going to have the door here. I think that looks quite nice. And then it's like the carol singers have, you know, come to somebody's door. So I'm just going to again add a little bit of foam. Okay, so I've just stuck the little girl on there and then I'm going to have him positioned so he's just hiding the rest of it. Like I said, you might want to use acetate. I'll be showing that in another one. I don't think I'm going to use them just because of the proportions. Them right next to each other doesn't quite work. And instead I'm going to add some Christmas presents. So they're working really well. I love this. It's like they're getting impatient. Like, hurry Santa, get out the chimney quick. The children are going to see. I'm just going to attach there. Let's see how that works. Yeah. <laughs> I, like it. I think that's going to work quite sweet. Like I said, hopefully I'm just giving you some ideas. Just as long as you know how to put it all together, really, the scene building is the fun part and it's entirely up to you. There is no rules with this. Okay, next I'm going to stick it onto my card blank so now I'm going to add some glitter but I also want to just stamp a couple of stars three little stars there I'm just going to go over those with my black pen I would again once you know what you're doing stamp ahead you can stamp all these bits kind of before you stick it down but if you ever stamp something and it's just not as dark as you would like I always have a black fine liner at hand and then it just you don't have to go right out to the edges okay so now i'm just going to add this is the glamour dust by deco art it's the crystal color and it looks really nice for snow so i want to have some on all of the snow on the rooftops here and it's very fine 
so it's great for small little images like this just very small areas you can put them on the baubles on the christmas tree it's up to you like so and then i'm also just going to do just a little bit just like so and then just dump that on Hopefully you see when it catches the light. I think I'm going to add a little bit more snow there. Okay, so there's the finished card. Everything's dry now, so you can see all the glitter. And I've also added some of my accent glaze just on the windows, on the baubles, on the tree. Just another nice little touch. Again, now when you pull your tab, you've got your fun characters <laughs> moving there. It's such a great card. I really do enjoy putting these together. So I hope this has been a nice introduction on how to put everything together and create your scenes. And like I said during the launch, I can't wait to see what you make using this new die set, whether it's with the Christmas stamps that I've launched it with or things that you've already got in your stash. As always, everything that I've used will be shared in the description box below this video. I'll also have, once I've put them up, but you'll see some more cards in other sizes and just different styles, designs using this set will come up now and there will also be a playlist with everything on there. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell, and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.